Watch guys, so here we go, uh, obviously got all my stuff finally. Watch guys, here we go, finally got all my stuff here, ready for the Borneo 100 mile in uh, two days time, I think it is, three or three. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd just talk you through some of the kit that I've got. Um, obviously uh, there's like, you know, stuff that you need to take as part of the, the fundamental requirements. So I've got this stuff here, like waterproof, two head torches, safety whistle, safety blanket, a cup, first aid kit, um, and a, a one of the cop vests here as well. So that's all the essentials that I've got. And then all the other stuff is kind of uh, luxuries, I suppose. So I kind of want to go through some of that. Um, the first ultimate luxury, okay, if you've ever done a bit of long distance running before, okay, never heard of runner's belly, okay, you'll have wish you uh, had some baby wipes on you so you can go and take a shit, all right, in the woods. Uh, so I'll be taking that on me at all times. Uh, Anti-chafing cream, basically extreme Vaseline. Again, I'm told that's going to be good. I'm going to be rubbing that all over my nipples, all around my crutch, uh, and on my feet as well, okay? Um, I'll figure out the order later, which I'll be doing that. Uh, my spork, obviously, so I can eat some noodles uh, when I get the opportunity to do so. Plastic bags, dump all my trash. Uh, you know, antibacterial cream as well. Uh, taking a little bit of warm weather gear, just in case. Uh, and then I'm gonna go on to the nutrition again. So I've got this tailwind stuff, okay, this comes really, really highly recommended. It's supposed to be really good on the gut when you're running, so it's pretty much pure carbohydrate. So I'm gonna be going, uh, fueling pretty much on carbohydrate all the way throughout this, uh, based on uh, other people's experience who've done it before. Uh, I don't wanna be kind of having gastrointestinal problems when I'm running around, so I'm gonna go with the, the advice on this one. Normally I would probably go a little bit higher fat, but um, I'll see how I get up. Uh, I've also been cutting down on my carbs, uh, a bit on my car uh, caffeine, so that I can um, get some of this stuff in, uh, not this stuff, some of this stuff in to give me some a bit of a caffeine boost so that I can really feel the benefits of it rather than not having any effect at all. Okay, so I'll be sucking some of those under my tongue probably every hour or something. Uh, obviously I've got my carbohydrate boost here, again the gel form to help me with my cramp. I've been suffering the, quite a lot of cramp where I've been training for this. Obviously losing a lot of uh, salts and minerals and humidity here. It's one thing I'm obviously going to have to really watch out for. Uh, taking some cereal bars, uh, just more sugar but ultimately it's just something to chew on, so a little bit of morale. Toe balm for when the muscles are killing me. Uh, obviously running shorts, got under uh, shorts on there, okay. Uh, my trail shoes, these are what I took actually to Everest, so they're well worn in, so hopefully they'll do me right. I haven't actually run in them, but I'm hoping the uh, the walking experience has uh, sort me out of those. Uh, my cop vest, right, we have to take this. I went for the biggest one possible, just so I can chuck as much stuff in it as possible. You can see I've got loads of like, like, uh, pouches in there, i.e. for like water, so um, two bottles of water, uh, and obviously uh, the bladder here as well. So basically, this will be a um, concentrated version of this, okay? So I'm not gonna be carrying this around with me. So that is all gonna be in there. So I'll take a sip of this, like one part and then two parts um, slightly um, diluted, and then obviously I've just got my plain water as well. So I'm being quite tactical with that. Uh, obviously got my lights here as well, that's uh, for the evening, like safety lights. Um, I bought some of these socks. Two different versions of these. These are supposed to be really good. Uh, supposed to guarantee blisterless uh, socks. So we'll see how I get on with those. Obviously going for the colours, UK represent and all that. Um, although I have taken a, another thick set um, and two pairs of these I'm taking as well because uh, I don't want my feet being too wet for too long. Like, I, like an arm marches on its feet and all that. Uh, you really got to pay your attention to your feet when you kind of run on for a long period of time because as soon as your feet go, well, that's you. you, you your moving platform, right? So uh, as soon as they're fucked, your body's fucked, okay? So the less mental I can, mentally painful I can make it for myself, uh, I'll say the easier it's gonna make it for me. So guys, that's uh, pretty much all the equipment I'll be taking or carrying on my personal dumping in my sort of uh, halfway bag. Um, and I'll pick that up halfway through, as I say, and then I can dig into it as and when I need to. But yeah, it's probably about, uh, well, I don't know, maybe another seven kilos, so good job I dropped a load of weight for this. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Uh, follow me on the way through and 